in the sleepy village of Mogotio in the Kenyan Rift Valley region, Nelly Cheboy is teaching children computer skills. Having grown up in poverty in the area, Cheboy says she never used a computer until she was 18. After earning a scholarship and graduating with a degree in computer science in the United States, she decided to return home and help bridge the digital divide. Through her charity organization, TechLit Africa, short for Technologically Literate Africa, Cheboy offers digital skills training to children in schools. We are looking at some people graduating out of college, not, not even knowing how to send an email. And so with TechLit Africa, we are bringing computers and then we are along with the curriculum and the, and, and the program to teach digital skills in rural schools when they're still young. And the children are picking up more advanced skills. Building websites, they're learning about how to express themselves online, how to troubleshoot. They are also learning how to send emails. They're learning how to become a digital native. And so this, this goes a long way towards solving the digital divide. There remains a great disparity in digital infrastructure across Africa's urban and rural areas. According to World Bank data, only 6% of rural areas have some form of digital connectivity. TechLit Africa hopes to change that. We see tools like these computers combined with the internet as the leverage that people need to be competitive, to actually create something of value. Grace Wangoi and Samiruto are sixth grade students at Zawadiyetu Primary School in Mogotio, founded by Chiboy. I know how to create my own folder, website, I know how to code, I know how to use terminals to create folders. I'm so happy. I really thank Nelly for giving us this opportunity because we've got to other schools don't have computers like this one. Started in 2019, TechLit Africa currently works with 15 schools across Kenya, offering digital skills training to 6,000 children in rural areas. Cheboy says the goal is to expand over sub-Saharan Africa. Ideally, we would like to be at 50 schools at the end of the year and slowly expand next year and start looking towards 100, towards 1,000, and also looking at the neighboring regions like Tanzania, Uganda, as we explore ways to scale this up. Cheboy, the 2022 CNN Hero of the Year, says her experience gives her the motivation to rewrite not only her history, but that of her community. Juma Majanga for VA News, Mogotio, Kenya.